Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. I'm a retired financial advisor. I built a large financial planning practice and I sold it in 2005. And then I basically traveled the world. And then in uh, about 2019, I got real active again in the stock market. I've increased my portfolio substantially. And now I have three objectives. One is to make good investment decisions for the future. Number two is to keep more of what I make by understanding the tax code. And number three is to create family wealth. And what I mean by family wealth is I want to make a difference in the, those people who follow me and my my family. And so I'm shooting for the moon. Now, I want to explain that my investment theory is, is and philosophy is different than most people. First of all, I put 50% of my portfolio in the big six. And if you don't know what the big six is, watch some of my other videos. Um, that Then I put the other 50% in a moonshot. Now, what I want to do in the moonshot is to basically make those millions. What? But I have a philosophy, and my philosophy is what I call the Judy analogy. And Judy is a member of our tribe, and she asked me, why am I not making money in the stock market? Everything is red. And I said, let me ask you a question, Judy. If in September I had come to you and said, give me $10,000 and I'll give you an opportunity to get an at-bat in the World Series, and you'll go up against... Uh, Atlanta's top pitcher, the Maxima, and, and uh, if you can get to first base, Judy, I'll give you a million dollars. Would you do it, Judy? And she said, no, I don't know how to swing a baseball bat. I don't know anything about baseball. And I said, then why would you bet $10,000 against Wall Street, those professionals? Why would you play their game? They're going to clean your clock. They've been doing it on a regular basis. Historically, they have done it. So why would you play their game? That's my investment philosophy. I don't want to play their game. I want to play against them, but I don't want to play their game. Well, what's their game? It's a 90-day game. It, at best, it's a, it's a one-year game. If they don't make their numbers... Uh, the, the traders, they're out. There's a lot of them going to lose their jobs between now and December 31st because they didn't hit their numbers. So I don't want to play in that game. They're going to manipulate this market and they're going to they're going to beat up on me. So I don't want to play that game. Well, what is my game? As the thumbnail of this video said, I'm looking for the next Bill Gates. I'm looking for the next Steve Jobs. Where am I going to find him? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly where I'm going to find him. And then I'm going to give you some candidates as to who they are. And then maybe you can invest where I'm investing. And maybe you can build some family wealth. That's what this video is all about. This video is about my investment strategy, who I've identified that's going to make me a multimillionaire, and uh, where I'm going to put my money. Stick with me. I'm not your financial advisor. I was a financial advisor, but I haven't kept my CFP license up. But um, I do think I have some insights and stay with me on that. This and maybe this will be something you'll want to get involved in. Hang on. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. When I decided what I wanted to do was find the next Bill Gates and the next Steve Jobs, I said, I need to go back and look at history and see how the stock market works and how Bill and, and Steve came to the fortunes that they did. And what I did was create a chart, and I want to show you the chart here. It is analysis of the S&P 500 since the day I was born. And that was September 5th in 1944. I'll do the math for you. I'm 77 years old. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot go on, and I've analyzed a lot. And what you'll see on this chart is the S&P 500 moved up uh, in accordance with the money that was available to finance it. That's that dark blue line. That's the money. That's the national debt. Then, and once we move from the gold standard, you'll see that uh, the printing press is cranked up and uh, the, the amount of money in the S&P 500 changed dramatically. So I look at that and I say, okay, what did that money finance? Well, the first thing it financed that really exploded it 
was the digital revolution. And then it financed the, so the, uh, the, the e-commerce revolution. And then it financed the social uh, media revolution. And then it financed Elon Musk in the electric vehicle. And here we are today. And I'm asking myself, what is the next revolution and what is it going to be and where can I invest? And as you'll see, I believe the most important thing that has happened in my 77 years happened back in March of 2020, and that was the coronavirus, the pandemic. The pandemic brought the our world to its knees, even more so than World War II. And back in World War II, after World War or II, they sat down the the Allies in um, in New Hampshire and basically said, "This can never happen again." And then that same thing happened in the meeting of the G7 on July 17th of this year, when Joe went to England and they sat down and said, this can never happen again. And we're approaching not the medical revolution, not the medical care revolution, the medical cure revolution, because they're tapping in to what is going to make the next Steve Jobs and the next Bill Gates. And I've identified them. And I want to introduce you to them. I want to introduce you to, first of all, genome therapy. Genome therapy, if you have, don't know what that is, watch my other videos. It's all about putting a needle in my arm and taking the cancer out of my body and taking the heart disease out of my body and eliminating any chance of me getting Alzheimer's. It's about extending my lifespan. And that's what I want to invest in. And that's where I'm going to find Steve Jobs and um, and Bill Gates of 2021 or 2022. Let me introduce you to uh, a few people and see if you don't agree with me. First of all, let me introduce you to Jennifer Doudna and uh, Emmanuel Carpentier. They are the, the, uh, the Peace Prize winners of 2020 for their work in science and in their work in CRISPR. And that's all about genome therapy. That's all about taking that cancer out of my body. That's all about taking uh, Alzheimer's out of my body. It's, it's all about extending our lifespan. What would you pay for an extension of your lifespan? What would you, there are 1,632 people who die of cancer every day here in the United States. What would you do to make sure that you or your children or your parents don't die from cancer? That's what's coming. And who is going to bring it to us? Well, again, I'm betting that uh, Jennifer and Emmanuel are two of the players. Who are the other players? Who, who else is? How about Feng Zhang? He's also a player. He works for, uh, our, uh, as a scientist who is working in this field of genome therapy, and he associates himself with a number of companies that are in that field. And then there's, there's the granddad of all this, and that's, that's George Church. Here's a picture of George Church. As you can see why I call him the granddad of that, and I don't think he's as old as I am. So these are the scientists. These are the guys... This is Bill Gates and Steve Jobs in their garage, except they're affiliated with Harvard University and uh, University of California, and they're, they're working to create this new revolution, what I call the health cure revolution, not the health care, because we aren't going to care for disease anymore. We're going to take it away. We're going to cure it. And that's who I want to invest in. And they're, they're associated with companies like Beam Therapeutics, Sherlock Biosciences, Editus uh, Medicine, Arbor uh, Biotech, uh, Mammoth, Scribe, Intella, Caribou, and Editus. And these are, I believe, the Apples and the Microsofts and the, and, and the Amazons and the Facebooks of past. But this is coming so much faster because of what? The most important thing that happened in my life, and that was the pandemic. And it has basically alerted every country in the world to say, we've got to get this cured so it never happens again. And these are the people who are going to do it.
Now, what I have done is selected these companies. Some of these companies aren't public companies. You can't buy them yet. You got to put them on your watch list. You got to see where they're going. But these are the ones that are going to get you there. Some of them won't succeed. Some of them will be bought out by big pharma. But I'm looking for Apple. I'm looking for Microsoft. And I found the Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Now, what I want to do is share that information with you. I want you, uh, I, I've put together a document and I'm sharing uh, who they are, uh, who these people are, wh what companies they are participating in. And then I want to share with you the, uh, the number of shares that I have in each of these stocks that are available to me. So you can possibly make a difference in your family's life. Now, you might say, oh, I'm too old for that, or I don't have enough money for that, or I'm, not, I'm too young, I don't have... If you're too young, you're the guy I want to talk to because you have the time. This is going to take time. What kind of time? Maybe three to 10 years. I don't know when they'll, they've got processes they've got to go through to make this happen. It, Apple and Microsoft didn't explode every night, overnight. Neither did, neither did Amazon. Amazon went to 90, $75 a share. And then in the dot-com bubble went down to $7.50 a share. Is that going to happen with these stocks? Yeah. It's already happening, but we know we're the end of the story because we can look at that chart. Let's look at that chart again. We know the money's there to finance it. We know the desire is there to extend our life more than it is to put us in an electric vehicle or more than it is to create a, a uh, Facebook page even the metaverse. This is the most important opportunity of your lifetime. And if you can identify the players, and then if you can identify the companies, you can't help. You really can't help become, but become very rich. The other thing I want to share with you is the things that I've read, the books that I've read, uh, The Code Breaker. Uh, it, it, it's by... Uh, Walter Isaacson. And in fact, it tell, it takes you through the history of genome uh, therapy, and it gives you the names of the key players. So if you want to substantiate what I want to send you, read this book. So what I want to do is I want to give you this URL. What this URL is going to do is uh, it's going to give you a link to a landing page where you can give me your name, your email address, and I will then give you a, a, a button to hit to download my analysis, my insights, and my shares, and then also the books that I think you should read. If you can't get it off of the screen here, go out down into the description, and right under the description, you're going to find that URL. Copy, paste it, and let me send you everything I've got up into this point. What I'll also do is then put you on my mailing list. So as I get more information, I'll send that to you as well. What I want to do is basically give you the insights that I've gained over my years in the financial planning business, in the investment business, so that you too can make a difference in the world of those people who follow you, as well as in your world. I would love if I could get a million 25-year-olds to come to this, get this thing, and then just buy a little bit of this stock, and then start dollar cost averaging into it. Now, at the same time, I want you to put 50% of your portfolio into the big six. I'll go ahead and tell you that. That's Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and NVIDIA. 50% goes in there. That's a given. OK, and then you'll be rich. OK, and if you can wait, you're going to be even richer. And then I'm going to do some other videos in some other areas. I want you to learn about the metaverse. I want you to learn about 3D printing. I want you to become wealthy. And all you've got to do is find the next Bill Gates. Find the next 
Steve Jobs, don't play the Wall Street game. They'll clean your clock. <laughs> Why do you think they have those big buildings? Why do you think they build 60-story buildings and then open their offices on the 60th floor? Because they clean your clock on a regular basis. You're paying for that. Just like when you go to Las Vegas and you walk into this beautiful casino. Who do you think's paying for it? <laughs> Come on. Join the club. Uh, join the tribe. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.